Western Mass News is once again proud to sponsor the local Marines annual Toys for Tots campaign. And this year, with six less days between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there is much less time to collect what's needed for local children. Beth Ward is here with more on how you can help and how the need has tripled since last year. It really is incredible, Chris and Jordan, how much the need has grown since last year, and so is the help that's needed. The number of families who've applied for help is far greater than last year, but local Marines with Toys for Tots say supply is way behind. In fact, we checked in with a few local drop-off locations, and so far, there is barely a toy to be found. First stop, Nathan Bill's Bar and Restaurant in Springfield. We have six boxes here right now, and two of them have one present each in them, so it's very disappointing. Toys for Tots has a special place in the hearts of Joe Sullivan of Nathan Bills. His brother, Gunnery Sergeant and Springfield native Tommy Sullivan, was killed in a 2015 terrorist attack at a Naval Reserve Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee. In his 18-year career as a Marine, he was always involved, no matter where he was stationed, in the Toys for Tots. He was an organizer for it. It was very close to his heart, so we want to help however we can. In fact, local Marines say as of the November 16th deadline to apply, 2,800 families registered. Registered. That translates to 8,500 toys. 267 nonprofit groups also signed up. That's another 65,000 toys. All right, doing the math, that's more than 73,000 total toys needed this year, more than triple last year's total. That's the 35th year that the Massachusetts State Police have uh, partnered with the Marine Corps Reserves. Massachusetts State Police are also behind. I'm looking in the box and there's absolutely nothing in there. Yeah, we are. It's a little bit of a slow start. Sergeant Evan Breeding at the Springfield State Police Barracks tells Western Mass News they're hoping this weekend will be big. I think Christmas is sneaking up on people this year, and uh, we don't want to get to the middle of December and realize that we don't have toys for these needy families. So we're asking that uh, people, you know, go stop stop at the store this pet this weekend and pick up a few toys and uh, bring them to the barracks. It would help out someone in need. Back at Nathan Bills. Just come now. Bring a toy. Um, it, it's for the kids. It's a good cause. I mean, they don't. You know, it's it's. It's, it's, it's pennies out of your overall budget. We're not telling you to buy them the new PlayStation 4, but get, get something. Little kids like a doll. They like, you know, just an unwrapped present. Bring it by. Let's get this started. There are hundreds of drop-off locations. You can find those on our website, westernmassnews.com. All state police barracks in the Commonwealth are also accepting toys. The Marines tell us they need everything, especially toys for ages 9 and up, for boys and for girls. And once again, Western Mass News is proud to sponsor uh, Toys for Tots this year. You can drop off your new and unwrapped toys also here at our studio, 1300 Liberty Street, starting Monday, November 25th through Friday, December 13th. In the studio, Beth Ward, Western Mass News.